Today we are going to learn how to find the perimeter of this shape using the Pythagorean theorem and without using any rulers. So now we need to find the perimeter of the straight lines, which are the which is the blue, the pink, and the green. Okay, so first we need to calculate how many units each side is. The blue side if you count it up, it is 10 units. So the blue side is 10 units, then the pink side is 4 units, and finally the green side is also 4 units. Now if you add 10 plus 4 plus 4, the answer that you will get is 18 units. So now what we are going to do for the next step is we are going to find the slanted size the first slanted side would be the green green line, and we are going to find it by using the Pythagorean theorem, which is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And so in this case, the green line is the hypotenuse, which is c squared. And that is what we are trying to find. So the side with 5 is a squared, so it would be 5 squared plus the side of 3, which is b squared, so would be 3 squared. So a squared plus b squared equals c squared is 5 squared plus 3 squared, which equals c squared, since we have not found it. Okay, so 5 squared, which is 5 times 5, equals 25, plus 3 squared, which is 3 times 3, equals 9. So 25 plus 9 equals 34. And so now we have found that c squared equals 34. So now we want to find the square root of 34. So that equals c. So now 34 divided into prime numbers is 2 times 17. And those both happen to be prime numbers. And so c would just equal the square root of 34. Now, so now we have found how long this side is this side, this side, and this side. And now we are going to try to find the length of the purple line by, by using this triangle. So now we know that this side is 3 units, and then the bottom side is 5 units. So this, the side with 3 units is a, so a squared, which, is three, which will be 3 squared, plus 5 squared, which is b squared, it would equal c squared. So 3 squared, 3 times 3 is 9, plus 5 squared, 5 times 5 is 25, and that equals 34. So 34 would equal c squared, and c itself would equal the square root of 34, which is which cannot be divided into any more parts. And so now we are going to find the length of the green side. So a squared, which is this side, has three units, so three squared, plus the this side, which is b squared, it would be, which is also three squared, so three squared plus c squared equals c squared. And three squared is nine, plus three squared, which is 9 equals 18. So c squared equals 18. So now c would be the square root of 18. Now the square root of 18 can be simplified because 2 into prime numbers 2 times 9 and then 9 can be divided into 2 3's. So now the two threes, they can come outside. So it would be three to the square root of two, and that is equal to c. So that is our answer for that side. Now we are going to find the length of the last side, which is the blue side. So as usual, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. In this case, the long white side is a, and then the shorter one is b. a is 
5 squared plus b, which is 1 squared. The answer is c squared. So 25, which is 5 squared, plus 1, which is 1 squared, equals 26. c squared is equal to 26. So c would equal the square root of 26, which cannot be simplified. Now that we have found all the length of each side, we are going to add it all up. First, the red side has 10 units, plus the violet side, which has 4 units, plus the green side, which also has 4 units. These can be simplified into 8, these can be simplified into 18 if you add them all up. So, that is now 18 units. Next, we are going to add the blue side plus the yellow side, which are both square roots of 34. So square root of 34 plus square root of 34 is equal to 2 square roots of 34. Next, the light blue side is 3 square roots of 2 plus the orange side, square, the square root of 26. So the final answer is 18 plus 2 square roots of 34 plus 3 square roots of 2 plus the square root of 36 units. That is the perimeter of, the, of this shape. Thank you.